everyone. So today I'm going for uh, something smaller than last time. Uh, just a fun painting. I also saw a couple of things that I liked I, uh, and one of those things was uh, pouring paint in a strainer. Mine is a bit weird though, it's not the same shape as the other strainer I saw. So I'm quite curious to see the result of that. And I think that this strainer has made us uh, life, it's uh, it's broken. <laughs> uh, it has a couple of years old. I bought it when we first uh, moved in in our uh, apartment at, uh, in Canada when we first lived there. Well, well when we lived there. <laughs> and well yeah, it's old. Uh, well, not that old, but yeah. As you can see, it had a hard life and now I'm going to use it to paint. Uh, so it keeps on going uh, to have some utility, I guess. And yeah, I think it's going to be interesting and I think uh, I, it's going to be a cool painting. So let's see now. I mixed my paint to be a bit thicker than usual, but I did put water in. Just not as much water as I would put normally. Uh, I put water in everything. Uh, this one is a fluid acrylic. It's a manganese blue hue and it's super pretty. Uh, I love it. I am very happy with this color. Sorry. I am very happy with this color. This one is a uh, carmine red. Uh, it's a heavy body, heavy body, heavy body, heavy body. So all the heavy body I did 50-50 paint in medium and then I added about 10% water, maybe 15% water uh, at the most. Uh, this one I did about 30% paint to 70% medium. Uh, since the fluid acrylics are uh, really pigmented and I wanted it to be on the thicker side instead of the flu fluid side and so I put a bit more medium to get it to a nice consistency and I added 5% uh, water just a little bit just to say that uh, I added water and everything and that uh, Hopefully I don't get cells too much, I, j I just want to see the details that this strainer thing will create. So I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so we're zoomed in and let's get started with that. We'll start with the blue because I like it so much. I'm really not sure what the result will be. I think it's going to look quite nice. The colors I've used is uh, Color Harmony. Can't remain, remember the name of that Color Harmony in English, of course. But it's a uh, quad, quad something. I'll talk, I think I'll talk about color harmonies in more details um, sometime because I think they are very important when it comes to fluid painting since it's mostly all about the colors, your color pick and the movement and the paint and mostly color.
just sopping the paint a little over the edges. And now I will lift this. Whoa. Well, this is special. I'll show you why I did that. Help you see, because I don't want to put it over the painting. There's a little legs under, and there's a hole, and in between, and that's where there's a line. Well, the lines like that, that's where the color flowed. And boy oh boy, the details in there, pretty amazing. Come on, flow over the edges. And yeah, I'll cover the sides, help the paint flow, and give you a time lapse. All right, so I am, uh, how can I say that, so very happy with the result. I think it turned out pretty darn amazing. I didn't expect that at all. It's completely different than uh, the other uh, calendar you told me this thing is called. Yes. Calendar pour. And well, I think it's amazing because it's so very smooth. Like here, the lines are so smooth and mixed together. The colors here as well, it looks uh, electric. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Here, it's so smooth so beautiful and in the middle well uh it looks like a flower and we have the orange and the fluorescent orange uh, that will pop through i can't wait to put it on our black light as usual i love uh, even the little drips that it made like when i removed it the detail in those drip is just amazing and the detail with the the canvas fold here amazing uh, the choice of color I think was uh, perfect and I think that this painting will look pretty amazing once it's dry uh, the fluorescent orange is transparent so it won't really show until you put it under a black light uh, the manganese blue is pretty transparent as well. Uh, it's a pigment mix and the pigment used in it uh, are pretty transparent. There is zinc white, the phthalo blue and another one that I can't remember right now. Uh, it's just beautiful. Love, love, love here. What's happening here is just lovely. The lines and 
the smoothness in between the same thing here same thing here I think I'll have to redo that and with the uh, other color harmonies uh, I think uh, it would look amazing and yeah so very happy the drips also look amazing oh I have good news too uh, I'll tell you that later and yeah it did sell up a little bit but I really don't mind I think uh, it just adds to this painting it's not too bad there's a little one here 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 uh, can't wait to watch uh, this video when I edit it uh, see exactly what happened how it happened I think it's going to uh, be amazing I can't I just can't wait to edit it that's uh, something new and yeah that's a good thing with the video logs uh, I can just go back and see uh, how everything happened uh, if it's sold up in places uh, if the spread caused it what caused everything and I think that's a good thing uh, I just uh, well, there are some cells here in the blue yeah, I am very happy with this one. And we're back! And boy am I happy with this one. Uh, it's just the details and they are like, I can't wait. No, I can't stop to look around it and just see how the smoothness, smoothness, the details and all the colors that are mixing but smooth. It's just... It's crazy. <laughs> I never expected that in a million years, uh, but I'm so happy I tried it. Like, uh, if you feel like trying something but aren't too sure, uh, just do it. Just try it. <laughs> just do it. Uh, yeah, lovely. I very happy. And yeah, good news. I received. A box of pendants but the glue won't arrive until February <laughs> I have to import it from uh, the United States so it's gonna take a while for it to get there but I have the pendants so it's a start <laughs> I guess so yeah uh, very happy with um, the whole look of this painting uh, I just can't wait for it to dry, I just can't wait to put it under a black light. I think it's going to look amazing with the orange in there. I, I'm so happy with the result and yeah, 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 yeah. I will try this again with other color combination for sure. Um, other uh, color harmonies, uh, I will uh, do a little um, course on that if you're interested let me know in the comments uh, color harmonies uh, and uh, a bit of color terry uh, I think it's important and for the heart but I, I also think that most of you most of you know about it but maybe a little refresher and I'll make sure to learn uh, the names <laughs> in English because uh, uh, in school I all learned in French, of course, so um, if I explain it in French, I'm not sure you'll understand it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll have to uh, do a refresher myself to learn all the names of the uh, different harmonies and how it works. I'll maybe have to make myself a color wheel to show it to you, the examples and everything. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if uh, that interests you. and. Uh, I will do that if it does and uh, yeah on that note thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave it a like it helps me out and um, I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video bye